class. Hello, welcome back to class. Today is our eighth, eighth lesson and we are going to talk about family, mainly focusing on the structure I have. Okay. Uh, let us start with a few key sentences. У Маши есть брат. У Маши есть брат. У тебя есть дети? У тебя есть дети? У меня есть сын и дочь. У меня есть сын и дочь. У меня нет детей. У меня нет детей. The new grammar that is introduced in all of these sentences is the genitive, uh, the genitive case. Uh, the genitive case is one of the most commonly used cases in the Russian language. And have a look, uh, first let's have a look at this table. This is how you can convert, uh, Rush, uh, convert nouns from the nominative, nominative case form into the genitive case form. For masculine nouns, you, you replace zero ending with a and y with ya. Like in these examples, brat, a brother, brata, chai, chaya. For feminine nouns, you replace the soft sign with e and a or ya with u. Noch, noche, sestra, sestri. And for neuter nouns, you use either r or ya, depending on the uh, on the ending. Akno, akna, more, more. Okay, and here are some examples of how you can use the genitive case in the language. Sabaka brata. Sabaka brata. You can use the genitive case uh, to indicate ownership. Uh, the owner is the noun which, uh, which goes here in the genitive case form. Brat. Brata. Okay. And unlike English, the object that is owned usually comes first. Secondly, you can use the genitive case form of nouns and pronouns uh, the same way as you use of in English to talk about uh, some qualities of this or that object. Stakan vadi, a glass of water. Uh, and the new word here is stakan, which means a glass. Uh, then you can use the genitive case in structures like I have, I haven't, like here. У меня есть кошка. I've got a cat. Here, the pronoun меня is used in the genitive case form. Uh, now, let's have a look at the word нет. You already know this word, uh, which means no in English. Another way to use it is uh, to say I haven't got a dog. I haven't got a dog. У меня нет собаки. Where нет uh, can be translated similarly to there is, there, uh, there isn't, there is no. Like in the next sentence. Папы здесь нет. Dad is not here. Okay. See that you can, you, can, um, uh, you can even put it in the end when talking about people. And finally, десять апельсинов. Десять апельсинов. You use the genitive case form of a noun after numbers. Uh, now, to talk about your family, you, will, you would need to use possessive pronouns. Okay? And you have to pay special attention because the, the gender and the case of the, pos of the possessive pronoun must match with the gender and the case of the noun that follows. Uh, let us read them slowly one by one. My, мой, моя, моё, and the plural form, мои, Yo твой, твоя, твоё, твои. His or its, его, which is the same for uh, all the genders. And here you read it not ego, but yevo. You have to memorize how to read this pronoun. Her, yeo, 
hour. Nasz, nasza, nasze, nasze. Your, wasz, wasza, wasze, wasze. There, ich. Okay? Which is the same for all the forms. And here are the genitive case forms of the same pronouns. Mojego, mojej, mojego, moich. Your, twojego, twojej, twojego, twoich. His or its, jego, her, jego. Our, нашего, нашей, нашего, наших. Your, вашего, вашей, вашего, ваших. Their, их, which is the same as the nominative form. And now let's have some practice. Моя сестра – врач. My sister is a doctor. У нее два сына. Or, у нее есть два сына. She's got two sons. Ее сыновья ходят в школу. Ее сыновья ходят в школу. Her sons go to school. And here, the word сыновья is a plural for son, сын. And it is formed irregularly, so you have to memorize this form. Uh, so in this and the previous, some previous lessons, we already met a few words uh, connected with the, with, the, with the topic family. And here are some more uh, words which you have to memorize. First of, first of all, the word family, семья, семья, and родители, родители, parents, мать, mother, отец father, which mean the same as the words that you already know, mama and papa. But when you address your dad or mom, you usually use these ones. And when you're talking about them to someone else, you can use these two words. Babushka, grandmother. Dedushka, grandfather. Жена, wife. Муж, husband, тетя, aunt, дядя, uncle, дети, children, внучка, granddaughter, внук, grandson. Well, this is a lot to memorize, so take your time and see you at the next lesson.